Joining us via video chat this morning is Ricky Foley, three-time Grey Cup champion. Producer Clark tells me that Foley for real joins us from Toronto today. How you doing, Ricky? I'm good. I look frozen on the screen there. I don't know how this video quality is. You're acting. You're great now. You've just unfrozen. Your tattoos look resplendent. It's it's hot out here, man. It's uh, it was no shirt or a tank top. Oh, oh, sure, sure, sure. The ladies, are, we just went through the roof with lady listeners and viewers, as it is normally 38%, Ricky. But, hey, Darren DuPont asked this before you even started this interview with us. He says, what's the latest with Ricky Foley? I think everybody wants to know. What can you tell your fans out here? What's up with you? Uh, been lucky enough to have some land out here uh, where I grew up with my uh, with um, the farm here, my family, and uh, building some houses out here. Biggest thing, though, I got my first child on the way with my wife, uh, Natasha, in Vancouver. And uh, August 23rd is the due date, man. So I'm trying to get this house ready for her and the baby. Congratulations. Yeah, well done. I got to ask. Yeah, yeah, the rider hat behind you. That you just put that up for today for, you know, to play to the rider folks or (laughs) uh, or is that always up there? I spun it around the right way. Smart. (laughs) It's marketing 101, you know. You can also see the cluttered. Uh, I'm living the dream. I'm in my parents' basement when I come home here to build the house from Vancouver. So, uh, you know, there's not too much staging going on here, boys. Uh, it is what it is. <laughs> Ricky, uh, your take, if you don't mind, on the opening three weeks in the CFL as we get ready for week four. Um, it's been pretty wild. What have you enjoyed and not enjoyed so far? Uh, this is my. I guess you're being removed from playing and first year is always tough because you you miss it so much you're almost, it's almost hard to watch a game but uh i don't know if it's just been the quality of the games or just that i'm kind of uh you know kind of i guess at, at ease with it now um but yeah it's been some great football from opening week on it's been uh really close competitive games other than the argos and uh but the other games have been pretty close and exciting and um it was good to see the game the other night um i'm happy for a guy like cody I played with him in Toronto, and to get a shot and to be doing what he's doing is, uh, I'm really happy for guys like that who finally get their shot and prove people wrong. Well, if if you spent that much time with him, you saw him in practice, did you see this coming? I mean, he's set a rider record here for the most yards for two starts in rider history for a, for a quarterback. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if you ever do, to be honest. It's nice to sit, sit here and say, oh, yeah, you know, I saw it coming. I saw the signs of practice. Like, I don't even think his coaches or any quarterback coach sees – that you know uh, um you hope you think you got something there but you won't know until you see the guy on the field and you won't know in the first couple games like when you throw a guy in the middle of a game um you know when the starter gets hurt backup quarterback some guys excel because they could just freelance and some guys are system guys and they need more structure and it seems to me like um cody's a guy who just needs some more structure and uh they've done a great job of mac and of mac do the coach and um yeah the kid just looks like he's playing and um yeah, it's hard. Like I said, it's hard to see, though, because, you know, he was stuck behind a few guys in Toronto, namely uh, Hall of Fame Ricky Ray. Yeah. So um, you never really know. Ricky, um, you won three great cups. You, that doesn't happen by accident. You, you have to have a great team, but you also have to have a great leader and a great quarterback. Um, in, your, in your short time with Cody, did you, did you see any of those qualities of, of some of the guys that, that you did play with, the Ricky Ray's and Darian Durant's that, that led you to a championship? Um, did you see any of those qualities in him that you thought, yeah, maybe this guy could, could be a, a leader sometime? Yeah, other than the like the physical qualities, which you know I've seen a lot of amazing quarterbacks physically um, not have it for whatever reason and produce. Uh, Cody's got all the physical tools, but I think the biggest thing I noticed would be his even keel. You know, I think nobody's better at that than Ricky Ray. Seemed to keep a level, steady head. Um, whether it was practice, whether he was going to play or not play, and he just uh, just seemed like a guy who every day you said hi to him, every day you know you saw him on the practice field. There wasn't any ups and downs with him. Um, there was never too many highs, never too many lows. And regardless of circumstances that might have been going on in his personal life, you would never know it. And um, I, think, I think that's probably what keeps a guy like him, um, you know, his head up, his spirits up, and just confident that he'll get his shot. And when he does, look excel, and he has. Just a couple more with Ricky Foley from Curtis, Ontario. Is Kawhi Leonard coming back? Ricky, come on. you got to have the inside. What, what's, what's the take there? Can I tell you my honest opinion? Okay, so the Raptors win the championship, right? They're not winning next year. Like, I mean, we won for the first time. Like, I don't care if they get Kawhi back or they don't. It took, you know, I love the Raptors. It's great. Nobody wants to say that. But the chances 
the team, let's just say the chance of them repeating is very slim. You know what I care about? I care about Mitch Marner. It's the least turn. <laughs> <laughs> ah, here we go. So, like, why, where he really goes, it's not really going to make that big a difference. The Raptors, I'm fantastic, big, huge Raptors fan. I love it. But I need to see my Leafs win. The deal the other day with the Avalanche, hate to see Nazem go, but I think we need some defensive. That's no secret. We get Mitch back. We actually got a chance next year, like a legitimate chance. And um, Dubas has been awesome. So that's what I care about. I care about NHL free agency. I know my boys are clowning me for it, but uh, that's what I care about. That was a great trade. That was a great trade. You know, wasn't it though? Kadri's a good player, and I'm a Leaf guy too, so I can I can you know sympathize with you. Um, and I don't like to see him go. Great defensively, good in the faceoff circle, but Tyson Berry has had more points than he has in the last four years. Yeah, and exactly. to get some defensemen, I think it's a really good deal. It'll like be a good deal at. if they can re-sign him and extend him. Yeah, then we only need him for deal. next year. We win a, we win a cup, we're okay. That's a win, right? Yeah, exactly. So I, I was happy they signed uh, Kapanen and Janssen. Those were two of my uh, favorite young up-and-coming players. I love that. And, um, yeah, it would be a little tough to sign all those defensemen. I mean, like a rally on contract. But um, the guy so far, dude, like clearing the cap, that's, that's been unbelievable how he's yeah. doing clearing the cap race, you know. So, um, yeah, I'm just go leaves go, man. I can't wait. So we locked like, in our hockey time. insider for Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, no kidding. Lastly, Ricky, I know uh, you were out here recently in Sedley. There was a great time at that banquet there. And um, I just think that the CFL needs you. I would be shocked if they haven't reached out to you. I know TSN has. Is the CFL in your future here? Because I just think the big market stuff, uh, your look, your knowledge, your personality, you're a home run for the CFL. Can you please tell me that you're going to be involved in some way here down the line? Uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I mean, uh if I take anything more on my plate right now, my wife's going to kill me. So uh, I'm just going to go in the house. We sold our condo in Vancouver. You know, she's six months pregnant, you know, belly out to here. God bless her. And she's moving stuff from one place to another out there. I moved out here, sold a condo out here, moved out. And now I'm trying to build a house. So she already thinks I'm crazy enough. If she sees my face on TSN on a Friday night. Uh, I'll probably come home to an empty house. So uh, not yet, but maybe down the road. We'll see. All right, Ricky. I'm glad things are going so well for you. And thanks for being a part of this show and making it a success. I appreciate it. Awesome. Thanks, guys. And congratulations on all your success, too. Right? You're doing a great job. And good to see the other boys, too. All right. Thank you, Ricky. Appreciate it. You're watching Rod Peterson On Demand. For more of The Rod Peterson Show, visit rodpeterson.com or follow Rod Peterson on social media.